So Anna, what you doing here? Just doing my job. <laughs> I know the name. D. So so sword. Doing my job. My job. Doing doing my job. My job. Doing. Oh mother, I don't care, baby. I love you. Papa Americano. Good day, Fight Fans. We're here with Abner Mares. He has a big fight coming up against uh, King Kong Agbeko. How are you doing, Abner? I'm doing great, thank you. Thanks for Awesome. Uh, so, uh, how's the training camp been so far for your uh, fight in April? Training camp has been great, man. Uh, we always like to start early because um, you just never know, man. Uh, you know, especially with this fight, we got a tough fight against Agbeko. Uh, strong fighter, a fighter who took the championship away from Johnny. Look, I, I drew against him, so, you know, we expect her to still fight, but, uh, again, we were training hard. Definitely, and, um, your styles definitely, uh, clash against each other. So, um, how do you, how do you think, uh, is the best way, uh, to attack, uh, Agbeko? Uh, you know what? Agbeko, he, he showed, uh, two different styles already. I think the first time when he fought Johnny, he showed that he was a little bit better than Johnny. He showed that he was able to get the victory, which is a great fight, you know, for, for the fans because it was a war. But the second fight, when, when he won, he, he fought a smart fight, which is stick and move. So I really don't know what type of fight he's going to bring in, you know, a fight night. But uh, we're ready for anything, as, as some of you guys know. I myself, you know, I am a brawler, uh, too. I, I grow up, but at the same time, I'm a, I'm a decent boxer. So, uh, I mean, it just depends on uh, this style and my style, what, what we bring in the ring. Definitely. And um, do you consider this as uh, the most important fight of your career? Uh... Definitely, and um, let's talk about your uh, last fight against Vic Darchinian. You showed a lot of heart in that fight. Um, can you talk about talk to us about that one and what that um, what that showed you? What you learned from that fight? Thank you. I took a lot home from it. It was a tough fight. A great experience fighter. This is Vic Darchinian. I took a lot home, a lot of experience. Uh, again, uh, I had everything against me in the first couple of rounds when I got cut. I got knocked down, so I had to put the pressure and I had to give it off. Absolutely, and um, not to uh, look too further out in the future, but I follow a lot of the Filipino boxing scene as well, me being Filipino and all that, but, uh, and um, yeah, we got uh, Nonito Donaire Jr. who just beat Fernando Montiel, and he's uh, signed with Golden Boy, and I've heard that move is pretty much to secure a fight between you and Agbeko, whoever wins, and a lot of people are saying that you're going to beat Agbeko, so what do you think about Nonito Donaire and that matchup? Uh, you know, like you said, you know, I don't know, I don't like to get ahead of myself. You know, it is, I got a tough fight ahead of me. I, I really thank you know the crowd, you know, for believing in me, thinking that you know I'm 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 gonna come out you know victorious in this fight. But you know, we have a tough fight ahead of us. Uh, it's a tremendous fight, and 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 the winner most definitely deserves to fight the the you know a don't air. You know, the winner of this tournament definitely deserves to fight don't air. So luckily, you know, if, if it is if it is us, uh, you know, God willing. We'll definitely like to strike down air, and now that you know the news is out that he signed with Golden Boy, I think it should be a lot, a lot easier to to get that fight. You know, mm -hmm. so I mean, it should be a great fight again. You know, I fight for the people, and and you know, so winning this fight, you know, why not? I'll, I'll fight him. I'll fight him. That's what I do. This is, you know, my job, which is fighting, and, and you also know, fight the best out there to be determined to, to be the best. So you know, I, w I would like to be called the best by beating the best. So. So, you know, I don't like to talk to anyone, and, you know, if that fight comes through, uh, I'm more than happy to take it. 
Absolutely, man. And um, so uh, what happens now going in uh, to the final stages of your camp? What's your schedule looking like? It's uh, great, man. Uh, now we, uh, we are flying three times a week, Mondays, uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, six to eight to ten rounds. Um, today was the sixth round. Tomorrow we're going to move it up to eight and Fridays, ten rounds. And, uh, and it's just speed right now. We, we have been flying already for about a month already. A little bit past the month, and so we're right on schedule. Uh, we're working on speed and um, and strength is there already. Uh, we are pretty pretty cut up right now, so we don't want to gain too much uh, muscle. So uh, it's just uh, speed right now, and you know, to continue our conditioning. Right on, man. And um, uh, lastly, I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, another big fight, uh, Manny Pacquiao against Shane Mosley. What do you think about that one? It's a, it's a really good fight, man. Um, obviously, uh, I myself have, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Manny Pacquiao. I have him winning, but uh, I, I really don't, uh, I, I don't, I don't think it's going to be an easy fight like a lot of people think. Just, you know, it's going to be a walkthrough. I think, I think Shane Mosley's experience and, and everything speed that he has might give him a little bit of trouble, but at the end, I think Manny Pacquiao is the one that's going to come out, you know, put the hands up. Absolutely, man. And uh, any final messages to all your fans out there? Definitely, man. Thank, thank you to all the fans that have been following me from day one. Uh, all the great support, uh, tremendous support they have been showing me. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to train hard and always, you know, give a good fight. And hopefully they get uh, later on in the future, you know, call me a pound for pound uh, fighter. Absolutely, man. And, uh, Thanks for watching Straight From The Source. <laughs>